Hey everybody, I'm back. Someone to see. Uh, got the Jeepster out here. We're at a friend of mine's shop. Doing a little modification. I got a new uh, weapon last year and never did a video about it. They're not importing them anymore, so I was lucky to score the one I got. 5.56 M85 AK pistol. Made in the style of Serbia. I mind the fan hot here in south central pennsylvania on this glorious fourth of july weekend happy birthday america 243 years go america yay but um yeah i'm gonna show you some uh interesting things if you have one of these ak pistols and you have trouble getting mags i can show you a way to modify some other ones to make them work in your ak pistol so i'll show you what we got here's my m85 Chrome bolt, chrome bolt carrier, made in Zastava, uh, Zastava, Serbia. I have just recently purchased uh, what they call a para 9mm from the same company, got an M88A. It's over in a Jeep. It's over in a Jeep. That's my new concealed carry one. Anyway, this is uh, the pistol version. It's got the double hook trigger. Not the, All these parts on this gun are. Russian. This gun was built in Serbia on Russian tooling and imported as a pistol to the United States. So it had to have no compliant parts because it's not a rifle. Now I do have the ATF approved wrist brace that I have, but it's not on it at the moment. Makes it, a real, it, makes it look like an SBR, but it's not. Now uh, here is one of the factory mags. Um, it basically latches like an AK-47 mag. Big lip in the front, snap in the back. Big feed lips. Um, it's got a little different design and it locks in there pretty tight. Once you get it in there, it don't wiggle at all. Little side to side wiggle, but not front and back. Now, I was, I used to have a Galil and I had an old magazine at my house I paid five dollars for this one at a show had a, a dent here and a dent right here so the follower wouldn't go all the way down but I took a torch and a strong steel bar and flattened the dents out so now the follower works and then I modified the feed lip or the locking lip here uh, by putting a little bit of a weld on it and grinding it down to a shape now Here's what it looks like prior. Here's one that's unmodified. And then here's one that's modified. And as you can see, when you take the Galil mag, lock it in the mag, mag well, it does lock in there right, but, come on, it wiggles. See how much it wiggles? Watch my hand. Wiggles about an eighth of an inch on the front side here, but it's not locking all the way up to the feed ramp. Now, here's the one that I modified, and I've already test fired this at home. And now, that thing is rock solid. Look, don't shake, don't make no noise. So, I'm gonna take these two $20 Galil mags, 35 rounders as a matter of fact, and make them modified to fit my M85 pistol by welding the welds across here and then grinding it to a shape welding the weld across there it's only look, missing about a I'd say an eighth of an inch you had to put on there because here's the one I did and then there's the one I'm going to do so let me start up the old welder over there and I'll make another video and do some test firing when I get back to the homestead a couple miles from here. So uh, enjoy, I'm back. New videos to come for the camo junkies out there. Happy birthday America. Stay cool. And uh, we'll do some shooting here in a little bit. See you guys.